Renegade Prof, thank you for the follow. Happy to have you. Welcome to the Crate Lurker team. Hope you enjoy your stay. How's it going? Uh, which one is the go up one? Is it this one? This one is go up one floor, right? Fuck, it's not. Okay. I'm going to restart that because I took the wrong portal. Uh, reset. Stop. Reset. Uh, I'm going to restart the song because I, I suddenly remembered, like, as soon as I hit it, oh, yeah, the water one is the go up a single floor. My bad. I got to re-equip my weapons, though. Uh, put that on. I want the shotgun. I do want the shotgun. Okay. I'm going to hit start there, pause that, start that, and now, now, I start the timer for real. I'm doing all right. This is really like, this is really just a spur of the moment stream. One in part to like, just to see how good I am at this, because this is, this is one of my favorite games, but I don't normally do like speed run things so i'm really just testing myself right now but aside from that i'm doing all right she gave me a shout out oh shit i feel special now what the fuck <laughs> that's awesome that's pretty cool well i'm happy you found your way over oh shit i'm happy you found your way over here yeah i saw the um I think she made a tweet earlier that she was playing Borderlands 3. I watched a little bit of that. Because I have some, uh, some projects to work on that I'm still working on. But, I've been, and, and, and I've been watching her streams for like a long time because I, I, well, I know her. But, I'm happy that she's having a good time with streaming and all that. Oh shit! Okay, I didn't get it good. Happy that she's having a good time with it all. Oh, yo, thanks. I appreciate that. I don't get a whole bunch of compliments on uh, my VTube model, but when I do, I really, really appreciate them. I'm not appreciating the fact this fucking enemy won't die, though. Yeah, I had my, um... I had my other one up that I have long since been calling my tiny form. Uh, yeah, I had 45 frames on uh, Devil May Cry 3. And if you're playing it at anything under than 60, there's a problem. I just think it's like really cool that like artists and stuff can make their own emotes instead of having to, you know, pay someone else to do it. Like, <laughs> that's me with my video editing. Like ever since I got into, you know, editing in general, it's like, aha, I don't have to pay someone to do this. But when it comes to art, I'm like, ah, I have to pay someone to do this. I don't have money. <laughs> I used to be able to draw when I was in middle school. But then I stopped drawing and then learned how to, like, write and shit. And then, well, I mean, I still write here and there. But then I started learning how to do, like, everything else under the goddamn sun. So now everyone asks me to do everything except, well, not everything. But people ask me to do a lot of shit. I know that doing these super long-ass combos isn't gonna help my time. But it's fun. Oh fuck, I gotta fight lady already? Oh. Um. Alright. Where is she? Over there. Ah! Forgot about those bullets. Uh. She should be like. Oh, there you are. Bitches love cannons. Bitch! Find John relaxing. That's how I find video editing. A lot of people don't like it, and they swear it's like the most stressful thing on the planet. But here I am, like I like this shit. I do this shit for fun. And people like actually think I'm crazy because I like video editing. And like my favorite thing to do is keyframes and subtitles. Ah, f you know I saw that grenade. I saw it, and I still stood there like a dumbass. Yeah, I love keyframing when it comes to video editing and stuff. And like, 
I do it so much to where I'm like, hey, you know, I'll open commissions for it. I haven't gotten anyone to commission me yet for any editing. Which kind of sucks. But, yeah, they're still open. Shit. Because, like, in the VTubing space, it's just, there's a lot of people who want a lot of things. But, a lot of them are, like, horrified to learn new things. And... They're willing, well, some people are willing to pay for it. And I've even offered people like, hey, I'll teach you how to do this shit for cheap. But, eh, it is what it is. No, no healing for you, you rat bastard. I didn't say you could heal. I can't heal. Fuck you. Die. I hate this enemy type. Oh, it's these bitches. Motherfucker, god damn it. I was so in the zone right there. Oh fuck, it's Doppelganger. You are just on total clown energy right now, aren't you? Actually, speaking of people on clown energy, so there's this like Well, there was this uh VTuber historian guy. Going by depressed Nusagi, and uh, it had come to light that he had some uh, pretty sensitive, like, like important sensitive information about uh, some Hollow Knight VTubers that was behind like a paywall and shit on his Patreon, and some of that shit included like, like their fucking faces and shit, and other like. Super sensitive information and whatever. And uh apparently in some of his fucking videos too, I had links to like doxing sites, apparently. Which, if that's the case, then Jesus Christ, man, what the fuck were you on? And like like he did put out a thing where he was like, oh I didn't do it like maliciously or whatever. But as a fucking VTuber historian and shit, right? You should, that has so much vertical range, Jesus. You should at least know that, like, some of these people are fucking crazy. And you put the right information in the hands of the wrong motherfucker. Uh, so many things can just go spiraling out of control and shit. And, like, made a video addressing the situation and whatever. And how he's, like... No longer gonna engage with VTubing stuff because he's been like blacklisted from so many fucking places. And he uh is sad that just and he's not gonna engage you uh not YouTube VTuber content in general anyway because it's gonna remind him of like the shit and whatever. To which I say fucking tough, buddy. Like as a historian who is aware of how important information can be, why in God's great name, maliciously or not, would you hold information about very, very popular fucking people behind a, 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 a cheap ass, I want to add, a cheap ass $8 fucking Patreon paywall, and, and then, and then, and then title that shit for a bit of knowledge. Like, what the fuck? How does that make sense? And like, I can't, I can't bring myself to be sympathetic or empathetic in any way 
Because first of all, like, I have enough common sense not to do no dumb shit like that. But, regardless, you got shit about fucking Hololive people. Some of the most popular people in fucking Hololive at that. You got that kind of buku level ass sensitive information. And you think to put that behind a paywall, why? Now, granted, to be fair, allegedly, because I didn't give that clown eight fucking dollars to look at that shit. Allegedly, right? The information contained within all that is, like, available in other places and whatever. But, even with that in mind, again, VTuber fans are fucking nuts, man. And especially Hololive VTuber fans, they're really fucking nuts. So, to put some shit like that behind such an easily accessible place, with, again, their fucking faces in it, and, uh, and again, from my understanding, from what I learned, watched, and read, and listened to, uh, basically the whole fucking life story, including, like, really important events... And dramatic things, like apparently, um, he also had like uh, um, a re-upload of something that was like super, super fucking dramatic for Takanashi Kiara. I don't know what that contains. I don't watch Hollow Live people like that. I prefer to watch indie VTubers, as some people would already know and whatever. But. Regardless, why the fuck are you selling people's fucking trauma, dude? <laughs> like, like, Jesus Christ, come on. Get get a fucking grip, seriously. That makes so little goddamn sense. And it's just like... Like, how do you expect people to feel sorry for you, bro? Because, like, at the end, I need to kill these bastards. They're wasting my fucking time. Like... I can't, I can't feel sympathetic or empathetic, cause like, bro, anybody would get Giga called out for that shit, and rightfully dragged for that shit. I don't give a damn if your fucking, like, content beforehand is some of the greatest shit on the planet, bro. I, did. there's not many places where you can get away with just selling shit like that about people. And, again, and I'm gonna keep stressing this fucking point. Putting that shit behind an 8 buck paywall, bro. How the hell are you gonna sell damn near someone's fucking docks for a pizza and maybe a few wings? Like, well, when I say pizza, I mean a Little Caesars hot and ready pizza. But how the hell are you gonna do that and then expect people not to find an issue with that? when it becomes public knowledge because again it has their fucking faces and in this day and age the internet you can find out fucking anything with someone's goddamn face for christ's sake and so i'm like yeah nah g i'm not i mean at the end of the day right my own personal opinion is, is well fuck getting hit like that and fuck you dude like, I don't know, like, hater type shit, but just, nah, bro, fuck that, fuck you. You, no, no. You, you're not just gonna do that and then, like, cry about it when people call you out. Again, malicious or not, it should be common fucking sense not to do no shit like that. Historian be damned. Historian be damned, bro. That shit, nah, dude, nah. Nah, haha, <laughs> B. Ain't no way. Ain't no motherfucking way. But yeah, like, like that's my take on it. And, like, I did some YouTube. Cause I, wa I watched people talk about it on YouTube and what. And, of the few people that I did see talk about it, um, they pretty much share the same sentiment. Like, come on, man. Also, also, bro had, like, what, uh, uh, 
75,000 subscribers and whatever. I don't know how many fucking patrons he had. But if we just assume, right, that 35,000 of, of his YouTube subscribers was subscribed to him on Patreon, and they all got the forbidden knowledge tier, ooh, shit, that's 35,000 people who just got, like, primetime access to some primetime knowledge, and they didn't have to go digging for it, it was just right there in front of them easily accessible that is a huge problem and that is a severe underestimation of like the following that you have and you know to be fair right to be fair i don't expect someone to govern seventy-five thousand fucking people on youtube or whatever i don't i don't even know a bro streamed on twitch i'm just going by what i know and what i've seen like on youtube and apparently, I like 75k or something. Maybe more, maybe less. That was just a number that I consistently saw. If this bitch don't stop teleporting, that was a number that I consistently saw. So like, you know. And 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 he's even like He's even done videos about the rabidness of VTuber fans and shit. Like for, for anyone who is an average VTuber watcher or keeps up with, like, like, the VTuber social sphere and whatever, I'm pretty sure that when the whole Rusha thing happened, um, regardless of people, like, watch YouTubers or not, they found out about it in one way or another and shit. And the amount of people that just went full-on ballistic over the potentiality of Rusha having a boyfriend and getting her cheeks clapped or whatever, whatever, and, and all that mess. The amount of people that went crazy over it may or may not being true should be a testament to how psycho a lot of uh, VTuber watching fans are. Because that 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 was so uncalled for. Granted, it made for a hilarious time on Twitter, seeing people have genuine meltdowns over. The, the the chick that they watch not being completely in love with them because they give them money. That was a field day and a half for me. And other people. Mostly me, though. But, still. That's like, dude. Dude. That is crazy sensitive information. And you shouldn't just be holding on to that and holding on to it in a manner where you can profit off of it. That, that, that's my personal, like, big problem with it, is that you have crazy hunted and obviously valued information just for, 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 for less than, less than 10 bucks, bro. You could, you could get a whole meal with $8. And it's just, like, Hey, here's this information. And I I am also aware that, you know, there was some, some, and I don't want to stress, some blurring. Because again, I didn't give that motherfucker eight bucks to see what the fuck was on his shit. Like, nah, I'm not, I'm not that curious. And I don't, I also really don't care. Because again, I don't watch Hollow Life people like that. I watch indie people a lot. And... To just do that is like, dude, come on, man. You no, no. Common sense should have kicked in like long before that point. Mm, maybe this is a bad idea. But as I say, a lot of the time, a lot of people don't have common fucking sense. Not to not 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 to not not to shit on bro or anything. Like not on no hater shit, but. No, that, that, that was a severe lack of common sense moment. I'm going to just be honest. From my perspective, that is a severe lack of common sense moment. Yeah, that was that, that was some clown assery that I found out about... Well, no, I, I, I saw it happening last night. I didn't look into it until earlier today. And it was just like, bro, are you serious? Like, are, are you serious? Does this, does this really happen? I, I can't be empathetic to something like that. Not to say that, like, again, I'm not on no hater shit, but it's like, 
I cannot relate to, at least at, at an emotional level, to some shit like that, because I know better. Like I said, historians should be damned. I don't give a damn if I'm cataloging the existence of time immemorial and whatever. If it's some shit like that, bro, no, 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 I'm not gonna make that easily accessible through me. What? 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 Come on, get it together. No, dude, I, I, no, no, that, that, that's gonna be a no for me, dog. Like, in all honesty, that's gonna be a big no for me, dog.